I have a video here for tempo work. I thought I shot this a long time ago and I guess I did not. So I'm doing like a real quick version for everyone who needs it for the flagship program. And then I'll make a really like official version. So you get me on my living room sofa couch. I never called it a sofa. That was weird. Okay. Tempo work is on purpose because the more that your body is under tension doing anything strength and resistance training, the more chance it has to build muscle under time. So time under tension. You want that tension so that you can get that lactic acid buildup, you can get that testosterone build, and that's not a bad thing. That's just to promote that muscle growth. I'm not talking hulky bulk muscle. I'm talking lean and toned muscle. If you want lean and toned muscle, do the tempo work. Tempo work is written something like three, one times one or two, zero, one, zero. And if you've seen that, you're like, what is this nonsense? I don't know what any of those numbers mean. 2010. Okay. No. Tempo work refers to the amount of time that it takes you to get to the bottom or the released part um, or the held part of a movement. And I'm going to break that down into pushing and pulling for you so that you can translate it into any movement. So say you're going to do a squat and I'm going to get up and I'm going to demonstrate it for you. You can stay there. Okay. What I'm going to do is use Vanna. I'm going to use Vanna. Oh dear. Okay. Vanna. Vanna named Darren. He's going to demonstrate a squat with a tempo of three, one times one, meaning he's gonna take three seconds to get to the bottom of the squat. He's going to pause for one second at the bottom, stand up, and he takes a breath at the top. All right, down for three, two, one, pause for one, stand up, down for three, two, one, pause for one, stand up, Vanna, can you demo, please, a push-up with the same uh, tempo? So he's going to be at the top of the push-up, and we're going to talk about getting to the bottom of the rep. So he's going to go from the top down for three, two, one. Pause at the bottom. He doesn't touch the ground and rest. He pauses for one, which was actually five. Up. Now reel for three, two, one. Pause for one, just above the ground. Drive up. Three, two, one one, pause for one, drive up. Darren, will you, Vanna, sorry, turn over on your back and use these flippers as dumbbells. Why did you go grab me some dumbbells? Good. Just do this. These are Darren's dumbbells. <laughs> I told them it was the raw version of tempo. Might just keep this video. <laughs> okay. Darren is dumbbell pressing. He's going to drive up to the top. Three seconds down, three, two, one, pause at the bottom for one, drive up, three, two, one, pause at the bottom, drive up, versus show us just what a regular rep would look like, regular rep. Do you see how the time under tension is, how long it takes for you to get to that bottom, building that tension? You can pause Vanna, rest there. What we're going to do with Vanna now is show you a two, zero times uh, I think I have it written like two, zero, two, zero. So Van is going to go back up to the top. Van is going to go down for two, up for two. Yep. So we're pausing for zero. We're driving up for two, down for two, up for two. This is just slow and controlled over and over. Thank you, Vanna. Can you stand up please, Vanna? Vanna has shown us squatting and benching, and now we're going to see deadlifting using your flippers again. Thank you. We're gonna go down for three. So we start in this one from the top and we go down for three to the bottom. And I know it's weird because on the bench press or the dumbbell press, we started at the top and we went down, but it was different. This, Pulling and pushing is different. Now we're doing a pulling movement. We're pulling that dumbbell off the ground or that barbell off the ground. So we're going to go down for three, three, two, one, pause at the bottom for one, 
stand up. At the bottom, you're gonna really pinch your glutes. You're not going to release that hold. You're going to pinch your glutes at the bottom. Back down for three, two, one, drive up. Vanna, show us a two times two. So two second count down, two second pause at the bottom and stand up. So two second count down, two second pause, stand up. The reason we want that tension at the bottom too is when you pinch your glutes at the bottom, it really works those glute muscles, firing them, making sure that you build that muscle under that tension, releasing that testosterone build. Last one, Vanna's gonna stand back up, bend over at the waist and do a flipper row, doing dumbbell bent over rows with flippers. We're gonna do a three zero times one. So we're gonna drive up, we're gonna get to the top of the rep, which is pulling up to the chest, down for three, two, one, pause for, oh, no pause there, drive up. We're gonna pause here for one. So there's three time, three zero times one is three, two, one, no pause, drive up for one and pause there, pinching your lats together, your lats. For anybody that doesn't know what lats are, because I really had no idea back in when I didn't know things, your lats are back here. You're going to pinch back here for that one. All right. Do you think of anything else? Oh, pushing overhead. One more. Let's push overhead. So we're doing a standing shoulder press, which could also be a seated shoulder press. We're going to go overhead for three. Or Sorry, we're going to go overhead, but then we're going to come down for three. Three, two, one. Pause for one, drive up. Three, two, one. Pause for one, drive up. The word eccentric is what we're working on the tempo for. Anytime that you have the eccentric movement, that's the release of tension. So we're, we drive up, that's the hard effort. Coming back down should technically be pretty easy, but anytime that you think about the coming back down, that is when that quote unquote eccentric movement happens and that's where we want to take the extra time. One more would be doing pull-ups. We don't have a pull-up bar right here. Pretend I need a pull-up bar. Bear with me, everyone. Okay, drive up, pause for one, down for three, two, one. He can't get all the way down. He would- He should be taller. He would really lengthen his arms all the way, but I'm not tall enough. Three, two, one, drive up, pause for one, <laughs> or a two, zero, two, zero. So down for two, drive up for two, zero pause, down for two, drive up for two. Okay, oh, rest. I know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep this video because that was just too good. I'm not ever redoing this. It's great. Okay, so what I want to say is that it's mostly written as three zero times one, which we just demoed a whole bunch of. Sometimes it's two zero two zero, sometimes it's four zero, and that would just be four seconds. And if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment of, hey, I don't understand the tempo of this movement. Um, I showed all the pushing and pulling that would translate into things then. So like the squat, we just did an air squat. That's this all the way down for three, pause for one, drive up. That also could be a barbell front squat. Three, two, one, pause for one, drive up. Could be a dumbbell goblet squat. Three, two, one, pause for one, drive up. Could be a back squat, could be a leg press. So I don't have a leg press, but if I was on my back with my legs, I would drive out. <laughs> Do you guys like my slippers? Drive out, three, two, one, push. Three, two, one, push. Uh, overhead press would then translate into our standing barbell, standing shoulder press. Um, lat pull down would translate into the pull up. So say you're doing a lat pull down, arms here, pause for one, three, two, one, pull down, pause for one, three, two, one. I'm certain I covered everything. If I didn't, a single leg deadlift, I'll do that one too, just so you know. Reverse, or one leg back, one leg forward. Slight bend in that front knee, down for three, two, one. Pause for one, engage those glutes, 
drive up. Three, two, one. Engage the glutes, drive up. All right, y'all, you got it. Proud of you. Do the tempo. Promise your lean muscle in your body will love it. All right, let me know what questions you have.